So, what have I been up to? Well, first of all, things have moved, as you can see. That is where the Seiko Corona Melodia used to be, which is now, um, on the adamantine, looking very out of place. So, I fixed this one. You may or may not have noticed, I've never mentioned it, that it would always chime a minute early. Well, now it doesn't do that. Chimes pretty close, as close as I could get it now. Keep in mind, it was originally going off here, and now it goes off there, so that's a pretty good improvement. Also, I tried to fix the striking train on this one, make it sound a little bit better. Which it certainly does, and that was probably the worst voice crack I have ever had this entire year, but we're gonna just gloss over that and forget it even happened, okay? And since this short drop from Seth Thomas uses an 89 movement, it's was it's it was supposed to have leather on the hammer, but it was metal to metal contact with that gong, and I finally got tired of that. I have another 89 movement laying around. This one to be exact. Yeah, it's it's kind of in horrible shape, but anyway, I ended up replacing the leather for the there I just replaced the entire hammerhead for this one, so it sounds much mellow, much more mellow. Oh my. There we go. This one, right here in front of your screen, is the Centurion, and unfortunately, it will have to go back to my grandparents eventually, when we get around to it. But it is there, so can't complain. I finally got the blue West Clocks here to keep running. It kept stopping, but I finally got it to keep running, so that's good. This one is a horrible quality riveted movement from the 70s, uh, or the 80s, or something like that. And it sucks, and it doesn't keep time. Also, something really annoying about it is those dashes, they're supposed to be four, but there's only three. So, uh, those dashes as in uh, the dashes between each numeral for the hour, and it's, you know, for the minute counter, and it's so annoying. I also finally got this little travel alarm to keep time a little better than it was originally it's pretty close to the five rams which is incredibly accurate for what it is i also finally properly put this one back in beat and i also tightened the minute hand you can see the clock is actually level and it's ticking I'm also responsible for p replacing the batteries in our quartz, quartz clocks, so I did that. And here's another quartz crapper, locked away where it belongs. And that is a mirror. So you've been wanting a face reveal? There you go. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully there'll be a new clock sometime, but not for the time being because I am dead broke from all this. So yeah, thanks for watching this little update and Homer Bird.